Okay, let's start from the top. My engine is going on a date. Well, for the good law's sake, darling, how can you expect me to dress her properly? Of course. Get her here so I can take her measurements and judge her aesthetic. Hmm. Where am I supposed to find Spacer's gear? Hard enterprising spacer in need of a wardrobe. I'd probably head to the Groundbreaker. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see what you can offer. Can you have something? Do you have something? Just can you have? Okay, that's that's really interesting. That has hack. Give me that. And uh, persuade dialogue skills, dialogue skills, leadership skills, dialogue. Just no orange weapon. I don't want to do it. Just skills. Stealth skills, yeah, give me that. And no determination, 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 persuade and persuade. Nope. Thank you. Okay, I'll go back to the unreliable. Be right back. And I will see you again in the shop. Okay, here we are. I have Parvati with me now. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's talk about all of my engineer. Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word, such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. Oh, I am no such thing, ma'am. Nonsense, you're absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing, and copyright. There. Uh, she is an engineer. You think she can afford that? She needs to impress her true love. Come on. Yeah. That's luxury, darling. Love. <laughs> oh, gracious me. I don't get why that's funny, ma'am. Oh, my cherub. Who woos for love anymore? That's so. Precious. Don't All change right. it to Golem. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. Well, that's better. Uh, well, did you actually measure her? I Darling, was... do I look like an amateur? Yeah. I read her measurements by eye, and don't you ask, because they're no one's business but her own. Okay, I guess there I can pay. Some things I simply cannot skip on, darling. Sure. This lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back. I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. Okay. Fine. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. Okay, see you around. Parvati! Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Okay, I haven't seen it, though. I guess that's everything, then. After all this time? I can... I just have to actually do it now. Yep, you have no you know, excuses now. There's, there's a part June Lay's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships, like the Hope. Parati, making everything perfect won't change anything. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. Okay. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Okay. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. No problem. I thought that was Ellie. Where's... Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna ask anything. Let's see, what kind of quest do we have? Okay, let's visit her parents now. Yes. Oh, they are somewhere there. I have no 
dia how do we was that no i forgot was some hey automatic mechanical dog yeah i have no idea how to move around the zantium so ex expect me to get lost a lot yeah kinda oh Okay, let, just let me check the change into my better, uh, better, better, better. Where are those? There was something with. Well, I can give it. Can take. I don't know. Dialogue. And there was some person. And this one. Because this looks just fantastic. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's so. Light, it's so bright. Oh, Marilyn, is that you? Oh, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. Like mother, like daughter. You to renew your marriage contract, but we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for welcoming me to your home. Hello. Play the ruffian angle some more. You're supposed to help me make an impression. Yeah. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <coughs> exactly. They don't care. They know. Well, years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? Indeed, we sit down some restored property across Halcyon. Okay, theft, vandalism, profanity, you name it. We've done it at least twice. I leave my point. What did I say? Ah! <laughs> I don't want to be bad. Yep. Mm. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. Okay, I'll listen in. Stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. <sighs> I wanted to get that perception. Okay, what, what is it? It's the floors. You had the floors redone with real Terran marble? Since when can you afford that? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought you were dead. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. Uh, why do I get a thing that people are about to apologize for something? We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. What did you do? We collected on your life insurance policy. Oh. And the payouts have been rather uh, substantial. You what? Okay, mm but I'm sure I'm much happy now, now knowing Ellie's alive, right? We shall always harbor that joyful secret deep within our hearts. And you'll report it to the insurance company, right? It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. Necessities, really? Okay, let's go. We've got better things to do than hang out around these two. I'm gone. Forever this time. Poor Ellie. Okay, give me a second. No, 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 whoa! Okay, if you press caps lock, it makes you run. Just run. Okay, Ellie. Let's talk outside. Sure, then give me a second and now I'll distribute my points. Okay, there's that. I've put all 
lot in persuade and hack and one in leadership. Let's check Ellie and I'll give her more health because she needs it. Parvati as well. Oh, she already has more health. I'll give her some more armor then. Because, yeah, she has good armor. Okay. Okay, but I have a thing that this is not what you want to talk about. Can you believe those two? Yeah. Been there a minute, and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. Uh, how did you think that we could you were making quite a scene? But not like I wanted. I had it all planned out. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid aether wave dramas, and then we'd walk in. Mother would drop her mock apple cider, and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Father would tear off his glasses and blink open mouth. Oh, and then what? I'd have a great one liner in the tube. I was thinking either the leather's fake, but the scars are real, or oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? How about it's payback time and I'm collecting with interest. I just wanna yeah, get some experience. That one day. Now, getting back to my story. Father would throw his hands up because this would be just like me to come back and make a big scene. Then mother would do the old, you had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. No, you're better than... You're really hurt, aren't you? I'm not hurt. I'm outraged. Affronted, even. You're hurt. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know? Yeah. And I've got a reputation to maintain. Well, Fred, I knew. Um, I just want to know what we're doing next, okay? Uh, sorry. Trust me, this was for the best. I'd love to know how you describe getting kneecapped. Uh, oh, this is not really going <laughs> best with her. Uh, what happened with Prince is in the past now. I know, I know. This whole experience is stuck in my head like a bad jingle. I just need something worse to get it out. Don't do drugs, okay? You can learn something from this. Everyone's only for, only out for themselves. You've got to surround yourself with people who really look out for you. But things happen. This doesn't mean anything. You really know how to cheer a girl up, don't you? Do I? I would have fixed a drink if I knew we were in for one of these. Anyway, I don't want to sit through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something about it. Something like. No. What? What if I could get that money? Your insurance keep talking. I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary. All the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing, and I'll get to cut them off. Okay, how do we do that? My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills hey. to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. Well, I don't think that my... that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of the terminals and do it ourselves. Okay, let's go. Right now? Oh, I don't think I want to do it right now. You take real good care of your pistol, Dr. Fuckin. I ought to. Get me alive this long. Okay, we can try that. Um, Look, no. Yeah. Okay, where is it? Here? No, it's jewelry store. 
has to be somewhere around here. That's closed. Oh, okay. The sole letter in this mailbox is addressed to the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group satellite office in Fallbrook on the planet Monarch. Okay, not now though. Location. Oh, uh, not that one. Nope. Next patient won't travel. Uh, Eva, search of homes management. Okay, this one. Set up a dummy with free equipment. Yeah, we won't do that now. Uh, wait, what? Okay, now just some bottle. I thought he was pissing in the water. Oh, god damn it. See somewhere around here. Hello. Now, what are we doing here exactly? I don't remember. This reminds me of. Oh, never mind. Of what? Of your house? I wonder, it looks exactly the same, but with rooms open. Oh, that's terminal. Let's see. My worst suspicions are confirmed. HRS 1084 was ransacked. Who knows what became of the suspension tanks, my team. As usual, my handles on the board are no help. Until I deliver results they can replicate package and disperse to the general population, they desire only silence and obedience from the likes of me. Circumstances were hardly optimal at the primary, primary and secondary labs. Political instability, blah blah blah. Okay. Ever since our species became aware of itself, we imposed our superiority on the worlds we touched. Colonialism worked for a time. But our oldest trick didn't work in the Halcyon, did it? Now we are the ones who must bow to a force greater than ourselves. We are the ones who must adapt. Entry access and seal entrance. Thank you. Where is it? I think it's there. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's definitely that. I'm just waiting for one of those elevators to fall down. That top of the line equipment is better than most. That's Hello. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? Uh, it wasn't so hard. And uh, your only man <laughs> Lilia Hagen sent me to kill. Okay, I'm the one asking the questions. And I'm not fucking <sighs> Start talking. Okay. Lilia Hagen sent me to kill you. If anyone ever tries to off me, I hope they do it with the same professional courtesy. Thank you. Hagen. I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? No. Damn it. I knew this would happen. Can we talk? Lilia ran sublight silver on Grand Breaker. Good boss. Bit of life fire. Why would the board want you dead? Yeah, that's. Quiet. But what? But if you didn't know that, I'm guessing they didn't send you. Yeah. I always assumed they would put a bullet in my head one of these days. I don't know anyone named Hagen. That's good. Uh, cut the distraction now. All about your island. Ah. Okay. That's a gentle, womanly way of putting it, Captain. She's obsessed with aliens. Yep. This is utter nonsense. I've never even been to Groundbreaker. But I... Uh, you've been to Cascadia and Station 1084. What happened to the team? Tell me you didn't move their suspension. No, I didn't touch anything. So I took over the lab. Your human aquariums are probably just office decor. Small consolation. My team, the finest minds of their generation, reduced to salvage. What were they trying to prove by experimenting on themselves? We were trying to prove that the colony could survive the crisis bearing down on us. What crisis? What are you doing, doctor? This information is beyond classified. Can I kill him? You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. 
Okay. More colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. Uh, this is startling, but it doesn't explain the research I found. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believe that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Uh, adaptation didn't save your research. Team. All you have to show is it, for it is a lab full of preserved colleagues. Yeah, but I they, know. only that. Yeah. Thomas was the first to take the gas. A simple test, he said. I told him not to, but he insisted. We learned a lot from his autopsy. Enough that we could try it on each other and know when to stop. No one else died. I must find a cure so his sacrifice isn't in vain. Cure. You burned through a lot of valuable scientists to arrive at zero solutions. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Hmm... Isn't Cornelius Vanderbilt one of the assault cruises patrolling Hasselion? for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. How'd you lose half a pair of ships like it were a sock? The board is uneasy about letting the colony know seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. Okay, Leah sent me after a conspiracy, but it looks like you found a cover-up instead. I if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. I guess that guy already mentioned in, in a report, as we speak about that. Okay, the board wants to adapt the entire population of Hasselio? replicate a success? The board will move to rewire our nucleon. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. Yeah. You really think the board got our best interests at heart? Nope. I mean, they say, but I'm just not sure. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. Okay, are we getting near the part where I agree to be your guinea pig or okay where that's how strange <laughs> will uh, okay enough talk where do we go from here you came to kill me I assume that's still on the table please don't I have no intention of killing you there's no one who can reproduce our work every sacrifice will have been for nothing and we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony okay you know finance if you work with him, I'll spare you. The one on the wanted posters? Yes. They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. A madman, yeah. I'll do it. Oh. Doctor. What choice do I have, Commander? That didn't take much convincing. If Wells is the only way I can save the colony, then I will damn well do it. I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I had better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here. No! God damn it. Uh, because the fate of the colony is in my hands. You sure have an inflated sense of self importance. I know. <laughs> it doesn't make you wrong. Now move along. The dog has a lot of work ahead of her. Tidying up and such. Can I steal from you? No. I guess not. Yeah, it's still considered stealing. I hate you. There's still something I can find here? No, it's up there. Don't peep at me! Oh, there was another one. Yeah. I wanted to go through. 
Uh, well, those were another posters I can take. Hey, never mind. I guess Lilia won't like that. That I didn't kill the, the lady. Do I have it as matched? Completed. Botched. No, not yet. Okay, I want to know what happened to the. Yeah, she can be found at the sublight. Yeah, okay. Let's go for that one now. Well, oh. actually, I might end this part here. Oh, that's so pretty. It looks like a DNA. Kinda. Half of DNA, RNA, I should say. Okay. And then there. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.